vegetable biryani So I have uh, added a bit of caramelized onion or some fried, uh, slightly fried onions with the uh, tatka of uh, one bay leaf, one clove, one elachi and a piece of cinnamon. Then I have added half a cup of chopped tomato, then some mint leaves to cover the base. Then I have marinated the veggies, two and a half cup veggies with um, one fourth cup of curd, one teaspoon biryani masala, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon red chili powder, half a teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder, one teaspoon of coconut cream powder uh, because I would like to add some coconut milk also to my biryani so I have added that also. Uh, then quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder then I have added some mint the chopped mint leaves and um, this is two and a half cup of vegetables um, of this cup because I took uh, one cup of rice in this cup so I have taken two and a half cup of vegetables of the same cup and um, the vegetables used are, used are potato, carrot and uh, beans. So I am going to layer it now. I have ordered also um, one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste I forgot to say you before I have added in this marination itself that's why I have not added in the base I mixed it with the curd itself so I'm adding my rice here So I'm going to just spread the rice nicely. I'm going to add a few of the fried onions. Not everything because I would like to garnish. I have kept some for garnishing also. So I'm going to add the rest of the veggies. Marinated veggies. Briyani is nothing but a sandwich vegetable rice sandwich between two layers of vegetables the rice between two layers of vegetables 
you can also have add some saffron saffron and um, some rose water also but i am running out of it so i am not going to add it now it will give you a nice flavor but today no stock okay this is done now i am going to add the rest of the mint leaves also remember the salt is also added in with along with the vegetables so i'm not going to add anything now and um, i'm going to add 1 and 1/4 cup of water as i have already added 1/4 cup of curd i'm going to add only 1 and 1/4 of cup of water i'm measuring in the same cup i'm going to just mix in this i don't want to waste this masala so i'm just going to add in here and then pour it in the cooker yeah i'm adding it by the sides without disturbing the layers going to add 1/4 cup only because 1/4 cup of curd is there already so i don't want to add more so 1/4 cup add some fried onions on the top also and that's it i'm going to close the cooker with the lid that's it i'll see you back after three whistles and i'll be always giving three whistles for my type of rice so after three whistles I'll show you I'll open and after the pressure settles let me show you how is it pressure is build up and I'm about to get the first whistle now meanwhile I'm just preparing my raita yeah this is my first whistle Right, I have added some curd, chopped onions, salt, and some red chili powder. I'll be adding a bit of jeera powder, and that's it. Now this is my second drizzle. Yeah, this is my third. So I'm stripping off the stove. I'll be showing you after the pressure settles. The raita is also ready by now. So yeah, the pressure has been settled, and I'm just going to open and see how it looks. Wow! It smells so yum.